Hey everyone, Jose Otero here for IGN. I'm here with JC Rodrigo from Nintendo. What's up, dog? And we're playing ARMS. Oh, yeah. And so you're going to give me the breakdown on sort of the intermediate set and some of the more advanced characters for folks. To yes, learn. absolutely. Now you can pick anyone. We've said that before, yep. including everyone on the left. But take it away, JC. Absolutely. So starting here with Min Min, I'm going to go a quick one-liner for all of these new characters. Or, I mean, we already talked about them, but these are, I think, the more advanced characters that have something really interesting. So Min Min. Min Min has two things. She can actually kick away arms, and her left arm can actually be charged up to this dragon arm, and it stays, her punches stay powered up for like an extended period. Nice. Mechanica has a bit of super armor, so that little soft midsection, yeah, not actually her body, um, but she can <laughs> she can take a little bit of super armor, so she can yeah. take a couple hits, but uh, she also has her jetpack to extend her dashes and her jumps. Got it. Uh, Twintel, one of my favorites. Um, Twintel uh, actually has arms. <laughs> she punches with her, uh, she punches with her hair. Um, she can actually slow down time around her at the end of a dash, and so you see punches like bullet time, almost matrix-like, and you can kind of react a little better to what's happening around okay. you. So really cool. Uh, bite and bark, adorable. This is also one of my favorite characters. Too. It's a combo. I have a lot of favorites. Uh, yeah, it's a combo. So you have the two. Um, so bark is a little dog on the right, and then bite is actually the tall robot character in the middle, and bark will actually, the little dog will attack on his own. So not only your advantage is to have actually three different weapons, because Bark technically has a straight punch on his own. So you can pick her weapons or other weapons for Bite. So again, lots of options. You can even use Bark as a springboard and jump oh, off wow. of his head okay. and you propel yourself in the air. Oh yeah. yeah. Pick him, please. What are you talking about? You pick him. You okay, do that. I got, I got my guy later. <laughs> okay, so um, Kid Cobra. Kid Cobra's specialty is he can slither in, like these three dashes, that can slither in and around punches. So if you're really trying to hit him, he can be really tough to hit. Okay, He's fast. Um, and this arguably is one of my favorite characters. Yeah, he looks weird. I'm sorry. Let me back up. I'm not sure if it's a he or she. We call Helix it. So okay. it, it's you know this is character. I'll just say that it, it's weird. Um, it, the advantages for Helix are like he can crunch down. It can crunch down into like this puddle on the ground and a pile of goo, or it can extend their body into this little wiggly top thing. And it, you'll, you'll just see it. Okay, I'm naturally tall, so I'm going. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with Bite and Bark. Well, I mean, okay. Bite's pretty tall, so that's yeah, fine. no, that's true. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Helix because I really like this. And he's got a new weapon too. Uh, that that sort of what do you call that thing? His his fist, his right fist, right there. Oh my gosh, the blorb. Oh, yeah, the blorb. I could, yeah, it tastes delicious. Apparently, it tastes like <laughs> fruit juice or like kind of fruity, delicious taste. You're gonna see that you can't see when he hits me with it. I learned that earlier. Yes, that's uh, right. So let's see. We got some new stages too. Oh I mean, yeah, let's go to uh, cinema. That's yeah, like a little. Do you want to do a little stage? Yeah, a okay. Little Hollywood. Uh, cinema do actually. Yeah. It's a, It's kind of like a French Hollywood almost, or yeah. like an arms Hollywoodish. Notice yeah. how this is twin tell stage. She has like her picture everywhere and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. awesome. That's so there's like cool. you can jump on top of those limos. You can you can use them as blocks. Actually, it's really good for. I just realized this is really good for me. Oh, yeah. Great. You'll see that in a second. Right. So so there are stage advantages like in uh, certain fighting games like that you may want to use. Yes. Got okay. it. This is definitely advantage. Speaking of advantages, I think I'm gonna go into this right now. So well, I'm on the right, so you're about to see me get pummeled. JC, take it away. <laughs> okay, so advanced tips. This is where I'm going to kind of go into a little bit deeper. Yeah, we talked about the combat triangle in our beginner video, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to go into some advanced concepts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use like a Blorb and an Ice Dragon. Right? My first tip is to know, know exactly what each of your arms can do. Now, as Jose said, the Blorb can be thrown and it'll block your opponent's vision, right? I mean, you can throw it out at any time, and as long as it hits clean, which I can hit, this is going to be really hard for me to hit you clean, because actually this does yeah, take some time. Say, this I'm is actually an advanced character. For you to get that Thank in. you. Oh. So notice how his side is blocked. Now, he can't see what I'm about to throw at him, or if I'm throwing him or whatever. Got it, so, got it. So really, really hit good. me with that if I don't get out of the moment. Totally. So here's an item, right? Special yes. item for a special. So this one charges your rush gauge. Notice how the bottom right triangle is now charging up. So I really want to keep in there and I want to push you out of it. Yep. Notice my dog just took a swing at him and that wasn't me. Yep, and notice uh, how I'm going to try <laughs> and because I'm actually back here, I got to get away from you for doing that. I want to try and springboard off the dog. <laughs> and I want to get rid of that dog. Ha ha! Oh, oh you can take him out? Yeah, I can take him out temporarily. Don't worry, he'll okay. come back. But okay. I'm going to keep him out. Oh no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my bomb, bomb, Oh, that's right, bomb. I totally forgot about the bomb. Right. Oh, speaking of which, notice how my arms are disabled like that? Yeah. There's a way to disable arms, and that's actually my advanced tip number two. Each of the arms has a certain amount of HP. Usually it's pretty even, but if you know and you recognize that the other person it has an arm down, you totally want to actually abuse that and like make sure that you, uh, you know, try and try and take advantage of the fact that they can't use their arms because you can't punch, you can't block, yeah. can't throw. Yeah, so yeah. always use that. And especially oh items. no, another bomb, another bomb. Get away, get away. Oh, oh we got, got us both. That's true. But I think it actually okay, may have hit me and not you. Okay, so the second tip, I mean, it's really to know what your arms can do. You know, my right arm uh, can actually freeze things. So I'm going to try and slow you down. 
and th that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm a, that's really bad to tell you what my strategy is going to be, but I'm going to slow, try and slow you down and keep far away. Yeah, you can't move when you're doing that. So in this matchup, I really need to think about what my arm is capable of. Now, I know that you have certain arms too, and I actually need to stay away from your right hand. Uh, your left hand Siki, which I need to actually keep moving because it can actually seek and find me, so I need to continue to move away. Notice how it follows me. So. I really went around the car. Yep. I don't and, think I've seen a single arm do that. And each, you know what, that's actually really cool, but that's a good point, because that's one of the things you need to know is you have to know what each arm does, what range you're supposed to be throwing at, and you should know what range your arm is. So I know that my Ice Dragon is supposed to be far. I shouldn't throw this up close. See how slow it is? Yep. And my Blorb is actually slow. I actually have a preferred preference, which I'll tell you about in the next tip. But uh, yeah, this I'll show you the next round about the advanced tip. Okay. But, but while I'm here, notice how I continue to always try and target, you know, uh, Bark. Because I don't want you to have that extra, yeah. that extra thing. Got but it, got it. Uh oh, bomb, bomb. It's all good. Uh oh, bomb for you. If I do this, that's uh oh for you. <laughs> now that you're down, notice how I capitalize. So anytime you see those little things, yeah, I just throw them. Oh uh, yeah. If I can damage your arms, just throw the other person. And thank you, thank you for that. I know you kind of gave it to me because I want to go to the next thing and show you the other cool tips. So uh, right, thanks. Enough. Okay, yeah. here's the. You want to go to the third one? Yeah, let's do it. All third right, tip. you're gonna love this. My favorite loadout is this. I'm gonna put up a Guardian with my left hand and a Blorb in the other. Now, I'm gonna, because I have, a, what? No, I'm just looking you're, at You're looking no. at me like, what are you doing? I'm watch this. Now my strategy's different. Remember how in the past match, I was just like, okay, keep him at bay with the, with the ice thing and, and then Blorb when I can and try and blind you? Yep. Watch this. I'm gonna continue to put this out and shock you. And then I'm just gonna try and hit oh, you after that. No, nope. anytime, anytime you see anything, you're about to see this in like constantly. You're always gonna see my Guardian and I'm gonna continue to be behind it. All right, so third tip is actually to set up, you know, your arms when you go into a battle and make sure you like your loadout and you have a plan going into the match. For me, uh, the left hand is a Guardian, it's a shield. So I'm gonna throw that left hand out. Notice how it stops arms and I'm gonna hide behind it. But then I'm gonna do that and try and send it at you. So my entire goal now is I'm completely different. The way I play, um, you know, this character changes because I have this particular arm. So I'm gonna keep trying to basically use that Guardian like this, charge it up, you know, shock you, and then take advantage of it. And any time that you do something, you're just gonna have to deal with this. I don't care what happens, I'm gonna be right here. And if you try to move around, I'm gonna have to try and get you. So, you know, you have to adjust the way you play based on what you see. Finally used Ooh. that springboard from the dog. There, there you go, you saw that, right? Yeah, He'll so. get underneath you, that's cool. Totally, yeah, know the distance, know your setup, know what you're trying to do, have a game plan in the match, and you know, you can come out on top. You just have to understand the game, understand your arms, understand the character. Got it, all yep. right, JC, thank you so much for those helpful tips. And make sure you check out, if you're just finding this video, we have a beginner video for you too, so you can learn sort of the basics of arms. Uh, thanks again for joining us, and for everything arms and Nintendo, keep it right here at IGN.